President Salva Kiir says he will run for presidency in an election scheduled for December 2024. The United Nations mission in South Sudan says it conducted research on elections across the country and that it found out that many South Sudanese people are skeptical about the polls. The country has not yet established the infrastructure uh, to hold elections and the infrastructure has two dimensions. It has the uh, administrative dimensions, in other words, uh, the decisions which establish the management of the elections uh, and the transparency of the elections. And then secondly, uh, a different kind of uh, infrastructure, which is what we call the political and civil environment. The 2018 peace deal demands for unification of former rival forces, retraining them and redeployment of the troops. That process is not yet complete. Civic education to prepare voters for the polls is also yet to begin. Those who will be eligible for voting at the time of elections will be required to vote 12 times. That includes voting for the president, members of parliament at the national level, and officials at the local government level. Voter registration has not gotten underway. President Kiir's party insists the country will be ready for elections come 2024. The doubting Thomas is that thing that we are not going for elections, but we are going for elections. Because when you are going for elections, when, when the necessary atmosphere is made, the conducive atmosphere is created, then it will be up to you to decide whether to go for elections or not. And we are, capable, we, are, we are working hard to ensure that we create the necessary conducive atmosphere. The United Nations is urging President Kiir, his vice, Riek Machar, and other opposition parties to agree on a proper roadmap for the elections that should be peaceful, free, and fair. The parties are yet to find a way. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.